Hello, welcome to Wise Guys. This session is about mole and volume calculation. I'm going to show you two questions. The first one is given chemical reaction equation, which is show you this is the Na and 3, which we call sodium nitride a decomposite into sodium solid and nitrogen gas. How many moles of sodium nitride are needed to produce 20 liters of nitrogen gas if the gas has a density of 1.25 gram per liter? So we're looking for the number of moles of sodium nitride. We're looking for this one. So we put the X on the top. Number more. We're looking for this one. Are needed to produce 20 liters of nitrogen gas. To produce 20 liters of nitrogen gas if the gas has a density of 1.25 grams per liter. So when you have those kind of questions, so read the question, read the equation with the coefficient. That means the coefficient in front of each compound or element represent the mole. So that means in this equation is two moles of sodium nitride decomposite into two moles of sodium solid and three moles of nitrogen gas. This is very important uh, because we can follow the ratio, the ratio of sodium nitride to the nitrogen gas is 2 to 3 because we given 20 liters of nitrogen gas which we want to get this much nitrogen gas but how much how many moles of sodium nitride are needed so this is the ratio is 2 which is 2 mole to 3 mole that means if you need produce three moles of nitrogen, you need two moles of sodium nitride. Because this question only talking about sodium nitride and nitrogen gas. So that's we just put these two numbers. And I used to put the coefficient on the bottom because this is always given after you balance the equation. And the top, when you put the given, the other you put the looking for. That is setting the ratio form. Later you set the ratio form, x on the top, 2 on the bottom. And this, is, this part, information on the top, this part on the bottom. But before you setting this ratio, you need to check if all the units are matching. These two, moles, moles, this is moles, but this is not moles, this is liter. So we need to change this one to moles. And then we can calculate. The other information we have, the nitrogen gas has a density of 1.25 gram per liter. That's why it gave us the information to calculate the 20 liter of nitrogen equivalent to how many grams? From the unit, you can see the density is a gram per liter. From unit, and we can say these two numbers need to multiply. Sometimes the unit is really helpful, even sometimes you don't, you don't remember what is the formula with volume, density, and mass. But from unit, you can see this. So let's say 
even you can set up another ratio you say the density is 1.25 gram per liter which is one liter now I have 20 liters equivalent to how many grams so this is a ratio, uh, ratio proportion because more volume more volume we'll get more grams so cross multiplication we got x1 equals this is 20 it got 25 grams because we have three second figure or we should put 25.0 grams and the 25.0 grams of nitrogen equivalent to how many moles right the next ratio proportion form is setting the another ratio which is we need to calculate what is the molar mass of nitrogen the molar mass because nitrogen we can check period table nitrogen is 14 grams for each mole but now you have N2 so the total molar mass for nitrogen gas is 28 so you setting the second ratio is 28.0 gram this is a one mole of nitrogen gas now you have 25.0 grams equivalent to how many moles so because this is x1 I put x2 so in this case you can calculate also cross multiplication and 25 multiplied 1 equals 25 and so x2 equals 25.0 over 28.0 because this is a, the unit is a gram per mole actually this is a gram per mole and this is a gram so after that you got unit is mole right you got the unit is mole okay so we can use calculate to calculate this one to get finally you got 25.0 divided 28 we got x2 equals 0 0.893 mole So after you got this number, and we can put this number on the top. So we put, this is a 0 0.893 mole. So that means 20 liters of nitrogen is 0 0.893 moles. After that one, you can see unit matching. So we can calculate this, and we put this one x3. So the next ratio proportion, just to put this on the top, this on the bottom, which you gave us, this is the first step, second step, third step. So we have x3 over two equals 0 0.893 over 3. All this is moles, moles, moles. All this unit is mole, moles, mole. Actually, that means if you need, if you have two moles of sodium nitride, we produce three moles of nitrogen. Now we need produce 0 0.893 moles of nitrogen gas how many moles of sodium nitrate needed so another ratio proportion this is multiply this one so x equals x3 equals 0 0.893 multiplied by 2 divided by 3 and this gave us the final answer is equals to 0 
both. Okay. So this is the answer. So if we if you want to produce 20 liters of nitrogen gas and 0.595 moles of sodium nitrite are needed. This is the first question. Second question. At STP, how many liters of carbon dioxide would be produced if 0 0.320 of a mole of carbon monoxide reacts with excess oxygen? This question we need follow the given information, write down the equation, and to balance it. This is the first step. So let's do it. Carbon dioxide would be produced. This is a product, carbon dioxide. And if this much of more of carbon monoxide reacts with oxygen. So carbon monoxide is a reactant. Carbon monoxide is a reactant, is a gas, reacts with oxygen. Excess oxygen, that means enough, you have enough oxygen, right? And produce carbon dioxide gas. All this is gas. And we balance. So you have one carbon, one carbon, because three, so you make two, multiply two for this one, multiply two for that one. So you have two carbon, both sides and have four oxygen balanced. After you balance the equation, then you put the information from the equation. This is uh, because you're talking about carbon dioxide, and how many liters of carbon dioxide would be produced. You're looking for this, so you put the X on the top of carbon dioxide because you're looking for this. And if 0 0.320 or more of carbon monoxide, you put here 0 0.320 is more So this is where we'll get the moles. One is given, one is looking for, or uh, one is given, one is looking for, right? on the top of the equation and the bottom you put the number coefficient two more two more that means if you want to produce two moles of carbon dioxide you need the two moles of carbon monoxide that means actually the ratio is one to one so from this one then you pick the number right down the equation is 0 0.320 over 2 equals x over 2. So that's why I give you, actually give you the answer x equals 0 0.320 more. Okay. After find this one, then how to find how many liters of carbon dioxide. So this one, very important. At STP means at the standard situation, which is the temperature is zero degree Celsius and pressure is one atmosphere. That situation, one mole of any gas, they occupy 22.4 liters, or that very important. So that means the second ratio, this is the first ratio, the second ratio after find 0 0.320 mole, we're looking for the volume when at the STP situation. So that means we have one mole at STP, one mole of gas is 22 point four liter. Now we have zero point three two zero moles. So this more on the bottom, the other side zero point 
3320 also on the board, right? And equivalent to how many leaders? So this is x1, this is x2. So this is x2 actually. So working with this ratio proportion, cross multiplication, so we got x2 equal 22.4 multiplied 0 0.320, which you give us the answer is, give us the answer is, let me use calculator to find it. This is 22.4 uh, multiplied 0 0.320, we got 7 point one seven liters. That's the answer. Okay. This is presented by Wise Guys. Thank you very much. Have a nice day.